Hi, this is Manos Brilakis presenting case 48 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of left main CTO demonstrating the importance of persistence in CTO PCI. This was a patient with previous coronary bypass graft surgery that had a patent lima graft to LAD and patent right coronary artery. The patient had angina and was referred for PCI of the circumflex. The patient did have a main left main occlusion with reconstitution of the proximal circumflex all the way into this very large obtuse marginal branch. This was an osteal occlusion with a tapered cap. There's a lot of tortuosity within the occlusion with a very tight band at the ostium of the circumflex, which became a problem as we will see in the subsequent steps. And then the lesion was about 30 to 40 millimeters long with heavy calcification. The distal vessel was of good quality and was filling via epicardia collaterals from the LAD, which was also filling by the lima. This collateral appeared to be very tortuous and small and did not appear to be a good collateral for the retrograde approach. Therefore, our plan here was to perform undergrade wire escalation and dissection reentry without having a retrograde option. And this is not uncommon in some of those complex cases in which the only option is going in an undergrade direction. We were able to advance through the circumflex, but we had significant difficulty getting wires and equipment through the very tight band. This is the classic example for using the venture catheter, which is a microcatheter that has a torqueable tip by turning a proximal deflection knob. We're able to deliver the venture to the proximal circumflex and then use the band. And then we got extra support that allowed us to advance the guide wire further down. However, we were not able to advance very far into the circumflex. That is why we switched to the Carlino technique. This is the venture catheter and we injected a small amount of contrast through the venture into the proximal circumflex, seeing this subintimal stain and some contrast even coming back all the way in the left main. This technique can be a very useful technique when things get stuck or cannot advance any guide wire as the contrast injection may help uh, open some micro channels and facilitate subsequent wiring. Indeed, we're able to advance the guide wire further down using uh, several microcatheters like the Caravel as well as the Pilot 200 guide wire. And now we do have the guide wire dancing in sync with the large obtuse marginal branch. However, we're in the subindimal location. Therefore, we needed to perform re entry. We advanced the Stingray balloon all the way to the distal cap and performed the double blind stick and swap technique sticking up as well as sticking down between the balloon. However, that uh, did not allow us to re-enter into the vessel, which is not uncommon, especially when there is intense calcification, as in this case. So we performed the so-called bobsled technique in, wind, uh, in which the stingray was advanced further down to a different re-entry spot, and then performed again attempts to re-enter with a double blind stick and swap. But once again, the wire remained in the subintimal space. We were actually about to give up. It's been um, several hours into the case and we decided to do a final attempt and that was done once again with a stingray uh, balloon. That was a new stingray balloon because the previous one was damaged. And this time we were able to advance a Gaia guide wire into the distal true lumen. This was confirmed with contralateral injection. And then we were able to advance a workhorse wire and put stents in the circumflex all the way to the left main and successfully recanalize the CTO. It was a long case, more than four hours, with 126 minutes of fluoro and 4.5 gray and 300 ml of contrast. And this case does have several lessons. The first one is that the circumflex CTOs can be tough due to the tortuosity as well as calcification, as in this case. What is also common for circumflex CTOs is that they don't have good collaterals. They had, uh, for example, in this case, there was an ipsilateral epicardial collateral that was fairly hard to recanalize. The osteal circumflex can be hard to wire because the wire tends to prolapse in the LAD. And in, this, in these cases of the venture, can be very useful, provide strong support and a bend for wiring into the circumflex. We had to do several re-entry attempts 
essentially using every stingray technique, namely the bobsled, that is trying different parts of the vessel. We did the straw or subindimal transcatheter withdrawal in which we aspirate from the back end of the stingray balloon trying to empty any subindimal hematoma. And then we did the double blind stick and swap technique to allow the entry into the distal vessel. In summary, this case also shows the importance of persistence. We had to, over to overcome several anatomic problems, including calcification, tortuosity, subintimal hematoma, difficulty re-entering. However, by trying several attempts and persisting at it, we were able to get a successful final result. Thank you.